Greetings, listeners of the Latin Prayer Podcast. My name is Dylan Drago, and I'm going to try to keep this intro short. I'm very excited to introduce to you the altar server responses recorded by Father Robert Fromageau. It is going to be a six-part series, and a word of advice. If you are going to be listening to this podcast, it would be very helpful to have the corresponding text alongside you so that you can follow along. Now, you can, of course, find this in your Roman Missal, the Ordinary of the Mass. We are going to be studying the server responses at low Mass, so not the Asparagus, but uh, beginning with the uh, Utica May, Psalm 42. And so, if you do not have a Missal and you still want the text, then you can go on to the LatinPrayerPodcast.com, and in the show notes of every episode, I will have the corresponding text included, which you can screenshot on your phone, or perhaps print out, copy and paste, however you wish. Father Robert has not simply just recorded the Latin alongside the English and run through it. He's taken the time to break up line by line and attach the corresponding English to it and explains how it corresponds to the English. So, for example, if you were to change an ending of one of the Latin words, you would end up with something completely different in the English. This is not just a fantastic teaching tool. It is that, but it's more so. It is a great way to increase your understanding of Latin and to increase your devotional life when you are at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. So, without further ado, here it is, part one of the altar server responses at low Mass by Father Robert Fromageau. God love you. Welcome to Latin Mass Response Tutorial, Part 1. My name is Father Robert Fremajot. I will guide you through this tutorial. It has been my experience that servers who simply memorize their lines will eventually say them incorrectly. And so, as an antidote to this, this tutorial will focus not only on memorization, but also on understanding. And to be absolutely thorough, I think it is also important that the server understands what the priest is saying so that everything works together. There is an integration between what the priest says and what the server responds. Now, part of the process of learning these lines is repetition. Many times you will hear something the first time, perhaps the second time, you will not remember what the Latin is for the English that you will hear. But eventually you will. Do not get frustrated when you forget. In fact, I want you to get to the point where you do not remember where you do forget exactly what the word is or what the phrase is that you're supposed to say. It is only through this repetition, this sometimes frustrating or painful process of repetition, that eventually you will uh, remember and remember well, not only what the line is, but also what the line means. So do not get frustrated, uh, have courage and strive to persevere. In this first part, we will be covering the first four lines of the prayers at the foot of the altar, beginning with the sign of the cross and ending with the server's line, quia tu es Deus, etc. And so without further ado, let us get started. So let's begin now with the very first thing the priest says. He says, the sign of the cross. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. The full translation of this is, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How do you say, then, in Latin, the word in? In. And how do you say the phrase, in the name? In nomine. Notice that in English we have to say the, but in Latin there is no equivalent for this word the, which is known as a definite article because it is a word that 
makes definite whatever follows it. So Latin has no word for the. That means that the English language has to supply it whenever we translate something from the Latin. So we had in nomine, and that we don't simply say in name, we have to say in the name. Now, how do you say of the Father? Patris. And how do you say in the name of the Father? In nomine Patris. And how do you say and? Et. And how do you say and of the Son? Et filii. And how do you say spirit? Spiritus. How do you say Holy Spirit? Spiritus Sanctus. And how do you say of the Holy Spirit? Spiritus Sancti. And how do you say and of the Holy Spirit, et spiritus sancti. And now try saying the entire phrase, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. And this, of course, is followed by Amen the Hebrew word for so be it. Now the priest will go immediately into the first line of the psalm. This is known as a kind of antiphon. He will say, in truibo ad altare dei. And this means, I will go unto the altar of God. Now, what syllable corresponds to I will? Bo. And so how do you say I will go? Or I will go in? In troi bo. And so here you see the bo of in troi bo means, I will. And so once again, how do you say, I will? Bo. And, I will go in. Introi bo. And, what is the word for unto or towards? Ad. And how do you say towards the altar? Ad altare. And how do you say towards the altar of God? Ad altare dei. How do you say I will? Bo. How do you say, I will go in? Introibo. How do you say, I will go in unto? Introibo ad. How do you say, unto the altar of God? Ad altare de How do you say, I will go in? Introibo. 
How do you say unto? Ad. How do you say unto the altar of God? Ad altare dei. And now how do you say, I will go in unto the altar of God? Introibo ad altare dei. So now, how do you say, in the name of the Father? In nomine Patris. And how do you say, and of the Son, et filii. And how do you say, in the name of the Father and of the Son? In nomine Patris et filii. And how do you say, and of the Holy Spirit, et Spiritus Sancti. And how do you say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. And how do you say, I will go in? In Truibo. And how do you say, I will go in? Unto the altar of God. Introibo ad altare dei. Now, how do we know that it is of God? We know from the last letter of dei, the I. E corresponds to the English of. Altare Dei, Altar of God. The server responds to this, Ad Deum qui letificat juventutem meam. This means, To God who gives joy to my youth. So then, how do you say in Latin, To? Ad. And then how do you say to God? Ad Deum. Now, how do you say in Latin who? Qui. And how do you say youth? Juventutem. And how do you say, my youth, juventutem meam? Now suppose there was an English word, latificate, to latificate one's youth. How would you say, latificates my youth? Latificat juventutem meam. Now, of course, there is no such word as latificate. We say instead, gives joy to. So how do you say, gives joy to my youth? Latificat juventutem meam. And how do you say, to God? Ad Deum. And what is the Latin word for who? Qui. How do you say to God who gives joy to? Ad Deum qui letificat. And how do you say to God who gives joy to my youth? Ad Deum qui letificat juventutem mea. So once again, how do you say in Latin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen? 
In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And how do you say, I will go unto the altar of God? Introibo ad altare Dei. And how do you say, to God who gives joy to my youth? Ad Deum qui letificat juventutem meam. And now let's go to what the priest says next. In English, he is saying this, Judge me, O God, and distinguish my cause from the unholy nation. From the wicked and deceitful man, deliver me. Now here's what you hear in Latin. Judicame Deus et discerne causa meam de gente non sancta, ab homine iniquo et doloso erue me. How do you say in Latin, judge me? Judicame. How do you say simply judge when you're giving a command? Judica. And how do you say again, judge me? Judica me. Now we are asking or commanding God. So how do you say, judge me, O God? Judica me Deus. And so we're asking God to distinguish or discern my cause from someone else's cause. So how do you say, first of all, in Latin, the word and? Et. And how do you tell God to distinguish or discern? Discerne. So how do you say and discern? Et discerne. Now you want God to discern your cause. So we're telling God about my cause, you will say. So how do you say distinguish my cause? Discerne meam causam. Now notice though that in Latin the adjective meam does not have to precede that which it modifies, in this case the word causam. Rather, it can come afterwards, and that's exactly what happens in this text. So in English we have to say discern my cause. But in Latin, this is said, discerne causa meam. And so since we are talking only about this psalm, when I say to you, how do you say and discern or distinguish my cause, what will you say? Et discerne causa meam. Very good. Now, what word will you use for from? De. So how do you say, distinguish my cause from? Discerne causa meam de. How do you say, from the nation? De gente. Once again, notice there is no definite article in Latin, and so the definite article the does not get translated. We say in English, from the nation. In Latin, we simply say de gente. Now, what kind of nation are we talking about? We are talking about the unholy nation, or more literally, the nation that is not holy. 
So how do you say in Latin the word not? Non. And how do you say the word holy? Sancta. How do you say from the nation not holy? De gente non sancta. How do you say from the man? Ab homine. How do you say just the word from? Ab. So here you see we have one word in English, from. But this word can be translated either as day or as ab. De gente non sancta, from the nation not holy, or simply from the unholy nation. And ab homine, from the man. Now, what kind of man are we talking about? So how do you say, from the wicked man? Ab iniquo homine. Of course, in the text, the adjective iniquo comes after the noun that it modifies, homine. And so, how again would you say, from the wicked man? Ab homine iniquo. And how do you say, from the wicked and deceitful man? Ab homine iniquo et doloso. Now, how do you say, deliver me? Erue me. Erue me. Notice here, the verb and the object of the verb, may, come at the end of the sentence. From the wicked and deceitful man, rescue or deliver me. Ab homine iniquo et doloso erue me. Now the server responds, Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea, quare me repulisti et quare tristis in cedo duma fligit me inimicus. And this is translated as, For you are, O God, my strength. Why have you cast me off? And why do I go about sorrowful while the enemy afflicts me? But do we really understand what we are saying? Let us find out. How do you say in Latin, because or for? Quia. And how do you say, you? Two. How do you say you are? To S. We are addressing God. So how do we say because you are, O God? Quia tu es Deus. Now we call God my strength. How do you say, my strength? Mea fortitudo. But, as we've seen before, the adjective mea, the possessive adjective, goes after what it is modifying, fortitudo. And so we're not going to say, mea fortitudo, but rather, fortitudo mea. 
So how do you say, for you are, O God, my strength? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea. Now, what is the Latin word for why? Quare. And what is the Latin word for me? Me. Now, how do you say in Latin, you have cast off? Repulisti. Now, what part of this verb means you have? Putting this verb in the past, you have. Isti, which is to say the last two syllables of the verb, repulisti. So, how do you say, why have you cast me off? Quare me repulisti. And how do you say, I go? Incedo. And what part of the verb incedo means I? Do. So how do you say sad or sorrowful? Tristis. And so how do you say and why do I go sad? Et quare tristis incedo. What word in Latin means while? Doom. How do you say enemy? Inimicus. How do you say the enemy afflicts me? Inimicus affligit me. How do you say, as is in the text, while the enemy afflicts me? Dum affligit me inimicus. How do you say then, for you are, O God, my strength? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea. How do you say, why have you cast me off? Quare me repulisti. And how do you say, why do I go sorrowful? Et quare tristis incedo. And how do you say, while the enemy afflicts me? Dum affligit me inimicus. So, again, how do you say, Because you are, O God, my strength, why have you cast me off? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea, quare me repulisti. And how do you say, and why do I go sorrowful while the enemy afflicts me? Et quare tristis incedo, dum affligit me inimicus. So then how do you say, for you are, O God, my strength, why have you cast me off? And why do I go sorrowful while the enemy afflicts me? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea, quare me repulisti, et quare tristis in cedo, dum affligit me inimicus. 
How do you say, Judge me, O God, and distinguish my cause from the nation that is not holy? Judicam idius et discerne causa meam de gente non sancta. Now how do you say, from the wicked and deceitful man, deliver me? Ab homine iniquo et doloso erue me. How do you say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen? In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. How do you say, I will go in unto the altar of God? Introibo ad altare Dei. How do you say, to God who gives joy to my youth? Ad Deum qui letificat juventutem meam. How do you say, Judge me, O God, and discern my cause from the nation that is not holy. Judicam Deus et discerne causa meam de gente non sancta. How do you say, Rescue me from the wicked and deceitful man, with a verb at the end. Ab homine iniquo et doloso erue me. How do you say, Because you are, O God, my strength? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea. How do you say, Why have you cast me off? Or why have you repulsed me? Quare me repulisti. And how do you say, And why do I go sorrowful? Et quare tristis incedo. And how do you say, And why do I go sorrowful while the enemy afflicts me? Et quare tristis incedo dum affligit me inimicus. So how do you say, Because you are, O God, my strength, why have you repulsed me? And why do I go sorrowful while the enemy afflicts me? Quia tu es Deus fortitudo mea, quare me repulisti, et quare tristis incedo dum affligit me inimicus. Very good. In the next part, we will go over the next few lines of the priest and server.